Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, I'm about to play you a clip from the latest live stream that I did on Patreon. And this one's called 10 Player Rules Every Man Must Live By. All right? And so, I just want to remind you guys that during the week, I'm going to be doing two live streams a week on Patreon. And I'm going to still keep the Friday live stream on YouTube. So you'll always be able to see the Friday live stream on YouTube. But if you want to see the other live streams, which is on Patreon, you have to join the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys join the Patreon because uh, I'm going to be having more live streams on there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the game is going to even be more heavy right because it's on patreon you feel what i'm saying so make sure you join it so you don't miss that so you can get uh access to it because the thing is every time i do the live stream it's going to be archived on the patreon so even if you miss it when i'm actually doing it you can still watch the you know the replay which is what you'll see now when you click that link below or go straight to patreon.com to you know watch this entire uh live stream all right so i'm just gonna play this clip real quick and remember when you're done make sure you click the link below or go straight to patreon.com slash mr locario to check it out the ninth player rule that every man must live by and this is man this is something that even i uh struggled with and some of you may struggle with once you get to the point where you're dealing with lots of different women. You understand? So the ninth player rule that every man must live by is you have to spend time alone. Okay? Spend time alone. You understand? See... When you get good at interacting with women, when you know how to attract women, when you know how to talk to chicks, get them excited, all this other stuff, right? What's going to happen is it sometimes can get addictive. You understand? It can sometimes get real addictive, meaning, you know, you... You're like, damn, I can, it's not hard for me to get women. So then you start wanting even hotter chicks. You get the hotter girls. And then you're just having so much fun, you know, having sex, hanging out with them, being around that positive female energy because they actually like you. They want to, you know, do things for you and all of this. So you're so tempted to, you know, just be around women all the time and to go out and, Fuck around with the chicks and, you know, all that other shit. You understand? It gets addictive. You understand? But what happens is this. And this is where it gets dangerous. This is where it gets real dangerous. You get so dependent on that that it almost seems scary to be by yourself. You understand? And I'm talking from personal experience, too. I, I think I touched on this on the Bad Boy show uh, the other day where I was saying that, you know, there was a time where I would basically be with the chick almost every day. And it would be different chicks or whatever, literally almost every day. You understand? So it would be almost every day I would be with a different girl. To the point where if a day would like like I would wake up, I'd be like, okay, I gotta do this, you know, do some videos, I gotta do my work, I gotta do this. But who am I fucking with tonight? Who's the chick tonight? You feel what I'm saying? So I'd have a, a chick scheduled. Um the chick I met off of Tinder, a chick that I you know hollered at from before, and I got it, I got a schedule for tonight, right? But there'll be days where I'd wake up. And then it'll be like, oh, shit, I ain't got nobody scheduled for tonight. So 
I'd feel funny. I'd be like, shit. So then I'd like look through my phone. I'd be like, all right, who can I call this to, to, to fuck with? You know, I'd probably go on Tinder, go on Bumble, see if I could get somebody real quick for the night. And I remember I stopped myself one day. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, yo, I'm like, yo, chill the fuck out, bro. Like, like, relax. Because it became this thing where I felt like I wasn't happy unless I was in that situation. Like, I remember one day, there was a day where I, I, you know, I wasn't able to, to, I wasn't going to see a chick because I was going to see this girl, but she flaked last minute. So I was like, fuck. So then I was like trying to rush to holler at another chick. I'm going through my phone. Let me, you know, hit up one of the chicks that I'm fucking with. And then, you know, one other chick I was trying to see, she was out with somebody else. Another chick I was trying to see, she wasn't available because she was working. So I was like, you know, I was running out of chicks. I'm like, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to see anyone tonight. And it was like, I felt, it felt weird because I was so used to every night fucking with a chick. You feel what I'm saying? To where it, it almost low-key felt depressing. Like, damn, I'm not, I ain't got no chick I'm fucking with tonight. Right? So I had to learn how to spend time alone. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and you got to enjoy your own company. You see what I mean? You got it. You have to spend time alone. You see what I'm saying? You have to do it because I'm telling you, once you get, see, when you get to that point where you're able to um, deal with a lot of chicks, I'm telling you, it becomes this thing where you're just like, you're just like, yo, like, I want all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to fuck with all of it. Just, I mean, because just... Picture this. Picture you have a chick every day that's available to you to have sex with. And then you're doing this consistently, consistently. You're just having fun. You get so used to it. It becomes part of your life and your situation. And then some days roll around where, for whatever reason, that ain't happening. You understand? It's like being on drugs and then someone taking away your drug and you're losing your fucking mind. You feel what I'm saying? And so I realized, I was like, yo, this is not healthy. I'm relying on these interactions for my sense of enjoyment and well-being. I need to enjoy myself alone. I need to spend time alone. So what I started doing was, you know, it were times where when I didn't have a girl to see, I would just let it happen sort of like that. I would just let it be, right? And then I would like go to the movies or something. I would, uh, you know, just work on some stuff that I, you know, that I, that I wanted to work on. You know, sometimes I would just chill and read a book or something, read some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just take a walk by myself. You understand what I'm saying? Or I would do activities where I would go to an event or something. So I'm around other people, but I'm actively doing something alone. I'm not like, I don't, I don't have the company with me or need the company with me to do that activity. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that, you know, what happened was I, you know, it would be a, a automatic thing. Sometimes there would be a certain day I wouldn't see a girl or there would be times where I would purposely not see a woman and say, okay, today I'm going to just chill. I'm going to just do me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do me. That's it. You understand? And I would actively do that because I, it, it, I would have to remind myself that, you know, I don't need those situations to make me happy. You see what I'm saying? Because it becomes a thing where you get so attached to those situations for that to be your happiness. You feel what I'm saying? So you definitely have to spend time alone. You see what I mean? You got to spend some time alone. And that's something that I had to learn over time because I'm telling you, there were times where I remember it was so weird. I remember one time, uh, I remember my wife was in Australia and it was one night where like I was in my house, right? Sitting right on my, my sofa right over here. And I wasn't seeing anybody, 
And I'm sitting there in the house. The house was super quiet. I'm just sitting on the couch. And I remember it's like it was this. I'm sitting on the couch. Um, and it's just silence. No one's in the house but me. Nowhere to, nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Nobody to hang out with. And I was by myself and I was terrified. I was terrified. You understand? Because I spent so much time engaging with, you know, all these women and, 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 and you know, uh, just interacting with people and not spending time with myself. So it was scary to me. It was like a shock to my system where I couldn't just sit down and be by myself. You understand? So you have to be able to learn how to be by yourself because there's gonna be times where you're gonna be by yourself. There's gonna be times where, you know, you're not going to be with a woman or even be with friends or whatever. You gotta be by yourself. And and, and the thing is what it, it, it taught me is that, you know, You have to be happy with you. You understand? You got to be happy with you. You see what I'm saying? You really, really got to be happy with you. And the thing is, if you're you're getting caught up in all this and you're relying on women or money or, you know, situations or whatever it is to give you that sense of, of happiness and peace, you're, you're, you're going to be miserable. You understand? Because when any of these things are not there for you, right? When it's only just you, when you're in that aloneness, you understand? You have to really understand what that is and, and see what that is. Because if you don't, and if you're not used to that, when it does happen, because it will, you feel what I'm saying? When it does happen, you're 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 not gonna know what to do with yourself. You understand? So take time to spend time alone. All right. So that's number nine. Now, the last player rule that every man must live by. This is very important because I see guys do this all the fucking time. And I'm just like, don't do it. Right? And I've done it too. You know, I'm I can't act like I haven't done this shit, but you know, I've done this shit too, right? But the 10th player rule is to never 